Retro caravans, they're actually a thing now. At first, I didn't really get it. You know, those dark, musty interiors. You know, the single hand pump over the kitchen sink, the methylated spirit stove. Eh, not really my thing. But then, if you modernise them a bit and pimp them out, well, then they become uber cool. G'day, I'm Ben from Beautiful Plumbing. I was approached by the owner of this retro caravan after he watched a couple of case study videos about um, gas installations that we did on a few campers. Now he asked if I was willing to do the gas on his retro caravan. So we needed some 4.5 kilos bottles put in the front storage box, gas main run underneath a uh, barbecue bayonet for the rear of the camper and also to hook up a hot plate inside the camper. I said sure. A few days later he dropped the retro van round to the workshop. It was then he asked if I could maybe fit a water tank and also set up the plumbing so he could hook up a, you know, one of those dual car hot water systems. I said sure, it's all plumbing. Now the solar and battery system on this van is set up is amazing, perfect for free camping. So when I called him I said what size take, you want a 50, 60, 80? He said well if maybe we could get two, would that be possible? I said well I don't know, we can give it a try, crazy not to. One thing I was very grateful for is that I was asked to install the two water tanks even before I started the gas work which was great because then we could really plan out where all the pipes were going, nothing was going to clash and also that on the filler pipes on the water tanks we could have beautiful sweeping bends and so it was so easy to fill them up. This not only saved so much time, it meant that we could keep everything really neat and tidy. Okay, so let's just start with the gas plumbing. Uh, Gav installed this toolbox on the front of the caravan for us and uh, inside I had to create a uh, partition just here to separate the gas chamber from the general storage, okay? So if there's ever a malfunction and there's a gas leak, it, you know, the gas can't get into the general storage because you could keep a battery operated drill or something in there that might uh, be a source of ignition. Also we had to put, a, make sure it was sealed the whole way around the front box so when the lid was shut it was totally sealed off. Now we also installed these two Oztrail 4.5 kilogram bottle holders. These are great quality and really easy to install the bottles. We also installed a single regulator as well as a very important vent on the bottom of the gas storage compartment so if there's ever a gas leak or a malfunction the gas can escape. Okay so we installed the new hot plate along with a permanent roof vent to comply with the regulations. We also installed a bayonet on the passenger side of the van that's for the barbecue and then on the driver's side of the van we installed another bayonet and that was to service the new dual hot water system and of course each bayonet we installed uh, the very important dust plugs. And now for the plumbing side of the van. Now because uh, Gavin wanted two tanks installed, we had to remove this retro single filler from the van and install what they call the triple filler. So one of it, well this one here, takes the mains from your caravan park water, so you can just plug it straight in and it'll run the van. Then you've got the filler for the, the rear tank and the filler for the front tank under here and also the two breathers that all have to be plumbed up to the, to the rear of this. So as you're filling the tank, the air from the top of the tank can escape. So we installed a 70 litre Rotro mould water tank up the front of the van, about a 90 litre on the rear of the van. We also installed under the kitchen sink a little pre-filter before the pump and also a uh, beautiful retro mixer. We also use those great quality fittings from John Guess for the water pipes and also for the filler pipes and the breather pipes for the water tanks. I also made up one of these dual filters that are high flow quick connect fittings as well, so you fill up the tanks in the caravan all the time with great tasting clean water. Keeps you nice and healthy, you know, wherever you are. Well, I suppose you're wondering what this is. Well, it's an awesome invention and it's a must for free camping. This is a flow meter that you need to install just after the pump on your caravan or camper. Now this is the flush mount version and it's connected to the 12 volt system of your caravan. Now, don't stress about if, if the power gets turned off to this, it still remembers the reading, you know, what it was last on. And there's also a surface mount, which is just uh, battery operated. So instead of having water gauges on each tank, which aren't that accurate, what this does, it keeps track of how much water you actually use. And the best thing about it, it counts down. So for example, this retro van has about 160 litres on board. So you set the top of G flow meter to count down from 160 so you'll know exactly how much water you have left so you can maybe stay an extra night. So how easy is it to hook up your Weber gas barbecue 
when beautiful plumbing has done the gas work. And to delete pain points, we have made the connections toolless by using quick release fittings on the hose. So to connect up your barbecue, all you need to do is grab the hose, remove the dust plug from the bayonet, stick the bayonet fitting into the uh, caravan, give it a slight twist to lock it in. Now, no gas will come out of this fitting, even though the hose is live, because there's a safety valve here that stops it out. All you need to do then is grab the end of this and clip it, snap it onto your barbecue, just like that. So now, you're cooking with gas. Hey baby, the sausages are ready. So now for the Julka hot water system. It had to be quick and easy to hook up without tools. So how long does it take to hook up your Julka hot water system when beautiful plumbing has done the plumbing and the gas? Well, less than a minute. So first of all, you just need to hang your Julka hot water system onto the side of the van. Now we installed some pinch weld on the back of it here, so when it rests up against the van, it doesn't scratch it. First up, just remove all your dust plugs from your gas bayonet and the quick release fittings. And grab your gas hose, grab the bayonet end, stick that in your bayonet, give it a slight twist, lock it in there. Now remember, no gas is gonna come out of this, even with the plug in it, okay? Because it's got a safety valve on that. You clip that onto the gas side of your hot water system. Grab your little hot hose, whack that on the outlet of the hot water system, straight into the hot line, quick connect under the caravan. Same with the cold, always put the cold onto the inlet first, and then as you plug it in, you'll hear the pump jump into action and start getting water flowing through the hot water system. So there it is. Okay, so how quick and easy was that? Didn't even have to use tools. Okay, baby, good to go. So we've got a large workshop. Now many years ago, I worked as a plumber at a company called Hayson Shipyards over in Holland. Now they build these luxury aluminium super yachts. Now it was there I was taught how to TIG weld because I had to make up brackets sometimes where there weren't, weren't any you know, support for these pipes that I was putting in. So it's very easy for me to fabricate you know, brackets to hold bayonets or water connectors or something for your, for your caravan or camper to protect them from branches, bushes or just to su support them. I don't know why, sometimes I just find it hard to concentrate. So if you, like me, live in the best city in Australia and you would like an extra gas bayonet put in your caravan or you think there might be a gas leak or you just need the gas um, certified on your camper or caravan or even thinking, oh, I wouldn't mind having a little hot water system plumbed in or even an extra water tank, give Beautiful Plumbing a call. We'll be happy to help. Hey, thanks for watching.